Glaucoma Chapter 1 is a game that was released on November 23rd by the extremely talented 3D artist Svetomir Georgiev. Due to an alien invasion in Eastern Europe, much of humanity has been wiped out and has been put on the brink of extinction. You venture alone to Bulgaria in an effort to destroy the core of the alien invaders to save humanity. Now, let's find out what this game's worth the $5 price tag. Glaucoma Chapter 1 is described as a sci-fi FPS survival horror game. Where that does ring true most parts, it doesn't exactly hit the nail on the head. It definitely is a sci-fi FPS and a survival game in terms of the sheer volume of enemies, but I wouldn't exactly call this a horror game. There aren't any jump scares or that sense of foreboding like you would experience in a horror game unless you want to count the gruesome looking enemies and the occasional groaning of an extremely large alien above ground. Visually speaking, this game looks beautiful running the Unreal Engine, and the enemies all look amazing in their detail. Granted, there are only a few, spares few types of enemies, but the amount of enemies that will assault you in certain events will actually make you feel the survival aspect of the game, where you have to mow down literally several dozens of enemies in a very narrow tunnel, for instance. Gameplay-wise, it handles well enough with weapons that have record-breaking ammo capacity, and a few special tricks mixed in such as EMP blasts, explosives, and a literal slave serum that turns the enemy against their own kind, which in a few cases is extremely helpful. The user interface is a bit clunky, but nothing too annoying or aggravating to handle as you won't be in your inventory screen for longer than a few seconds at a time. I myself didn't experience any bugs or glitches or anything of the sort, but according to reviews, some people have. A main concern I do have, however, is that the player's character has a large amount of head bobbing effects when moving around, which could make some people get severe motion sickness if they were prone to it. I myself didn't experience it, but some other reviews on Steam did mention it and that could be a problem. Besides that, the biggest issue I have of Glaucoma isn't really an issue per se, but the fact that this game is extremely short. I and most of the people who have played it finish the game within 30 minutes if not less. The game itself is fun and interesting to say the least, and I personally am looking forward to the later chapters to see how the story plays out, though hopefully the next chapter is a bit longer than half an hour. On the plus side though, Svetomir is responding to reviews and criticism about the game and is working on fixing the problems for both chapter 1 and future chapters. So if the game's next chapters are longer than 30 minutes, even if it's only up to an hour or an hour and a half, then this game would definitely be worth the $5 price tag. So if you've got $5 to spare, I do recommend picking this game up and keeping an eye on for the future chapters. But that's all for today's video. But before I go, I know you love what we're doing here at the channel, so leave a like, subscribe, and if you have a game you would like us to review, leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next one. Later.